welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome to another vlog so i want to start this vlog off the living room is so echoey oh my goodness last week's vlog was a little bit boring very mundane it was just me trying to get my life together and as you guys see this video you would have seen wednesday's video of me trying to adapt some new habits this is day one so you will see me over the week progressively hopefully get stronger we'll see but i wanted to start off this vlog showing you guys the light for the dining room which you can probably see behind me i ended off the vlog without showing you guys i'm gonna try and get corey to mount the tv today before it gets dark because the tv is still very much on the floor but let me show you guys the light i will show you guys before and after what it looks like but this looks amazing ignore the ladder in the background um, but I love what the light looks like. It just makes it look more like a home. I didn't like the other lampshade. I know a lot of you did. We still have these lampshades, these light shades everywhere. They are in every room. Let me show you the light up close and personal. Okay, so this is the light. So it was a separate attachment. This was the separate attachment um, for the pendant. And then this was the bulb that I decided to get. It comes with a million different bulbs. Um, I decided to get the one that is a bit orangey, more ambient. I'll show you guys what it looks like with the light on in a second. But this is what it looks like. Corey is going to take it up a little bit because it's like this close to his head. Um, obviously, we don't want it to be knocking his head every two seconds. But that's what it looks like. I'll show you guys from afar. So you're just going to have to ignore. This is what the living room, well, this is what the dining room looks like typically, honestly. The unfinished coffee table. This needs to go in the shed. My tripod because I'm currently filming and working on the dining table. That's what it looks like from afar. I actually really like it. I thought a nice exposed open bowl would look nice in the dining room. Um, I just wish it was like above the dining table because the dining table's there. And then this is like in the middle of the room, but I don't hate it. I really do like it. Um, the only thing we need to do now is obviously get some new chairs. We need to move all of this because this is just random stuff actually sort out the shelves the shelves aren't looking too bad this is my little diy project i did it in last week's vlog if you haven't seen it check it out i love what it looks like um but this is going to be going in the other corner not this corner but yeah that's what it looks like let me turn it on it's just a beautiful orangey tone it just makes the place feel it makes the place feel so much more warmer it makes it feel like a dining room just a nice winding down light let me know what you guys think i also decided to get this um gold detail because you guys know i like gold um and i'm trying to do more gold features in the house but yeah that's the new light fixture dining room table to work if you remember from last week's vlog i said i'm trying not to work anywhere but my my desk anymore because i'm not as productive but yeah the wi-fi in my office is so slow it's like one bar don't know why i've got like the fastest wi-fi especially for my job so i'm gonna see if i can get a booster but i need to do bills today not fun um i need to do bills i need to be working on a project that i've got and I need to write and answer some emails. So I'm just gonna be doing that. The plan for this week, getting the house together. It's getting the house together. p.m after dinner we just we've just been chilling as you can see i'm on the sofa i'm like wrapped up in my blanket and on my laptop doing some homeware shopping i have not done some homeware shopping in a while like looking for home decor and home bits and home accessories love it it's like my favorite pastime i'm enjoying can we talk about it i'm enjoying home shopping more than shopping for clothes and i know saying that sentence out loud sounds like such a first world thing to say but like it's true i really enjoy shopping for like home bits and like finding hidden gems for my home that's what my main task is this week i think is to really search the internet and manchester for the best places to get some homeware stuff because yes i love me some good h&m home i love me a good zara home but for pieces like there's certain pieces in my head that i really want to get for the house that i'm not buying like first first hand 
first hand that I'm not buying brand new. So I'm definitely going to be doing some vintage shopping this week and I'm definitely going to be taking you guys with me. Um, matter is, I just need to find some. So I'm going to be reaching out to some girls I follow on Instagram and seeing where I can go to get some nice um, antique furniture, not even furniture, just like bits for my home because I wrote a blog post about this. If you don't know, I have a blog. Um, I'm starting to do more home stuff over there, like random bits that I'm just loving. Um, and I, yeah, I wrote a blog post a few days ago now about I'm no longer a minimalist. Like I no longer want a minimalist home. And ever since like having the previous flat, I've always wanted a minimalist home. I've always wanted a home that is essentially like Kim Kardashian's home. If you've seen her home, it's basically a museum. Like there's nothing in it. I've always wanted a home like that. I don't know why. I just like the idea of a clean home, having nothing in it. But then it's only within the last few weeks living here that I've actually understood my personal taste in home. And it's nowhere close to minimalism. I'm gonna pop up the mood board I made for my blog post. If you wanna read that blog post, check it out, it's down below. Um, but yeah, I'm really wanting to make this house like I was saying to Corey we're like discussing and I think I want this house to be like a Mediterranean mid-century cottage home that's in Italy in the mountains that's the energy I'm feeling for this house I mean I don't know we'll see as the months go on it's nearly summer so going into the summer months and the winter months the house is going to change but I'm excited anyway that's that um when Corey finishes putting Amara to bed we're going to discuss our bedroom because I think that's going to be the big DIY project in this vlog is our room and getting it painted and looking like a bedroom at least a little bit because there's still a lot I want to do to our room and things I want to add to it so it's all slow progress but it's still progress progress is progress and one thing I have had to force myself to understand is that things are not going to happen in one day like yes I would love to pump out beautiful content and beautiful home stuff and beautiful decor but like realistically i have bills to pay <laughs> i have a child to feed like do you get what i mean so i hope you guys can get it but yeah literally on pinterest now as we speak just scrolling looking through for some inspo um and yeah for the rest of the evening just chilling <laughs> Hey guys, hey, happy Tuesday. So like I said last night, it was the day that we came to visit Amara's nursery. We spent a few hours there and it was really nice. She settled in well. Um, the only thing is I think she was a bit overwhelmed by the kids. She freaked out when we first walked in, but she had fun. It was a really nice time. And now we're back home. I've changed because obviously that was more of a suitable outfit for the location um now i'm literally just wearing the denim skirt i don't know if i showed you guys this i got this denim skirt in the h&m sale um it's a size medium so it's not really fitting me but i it with a belt and this top that is from zara i believe but yeah Corey and amara's in the garden now it's a beautiful day so i'm going to take the opportunity and finally plant my seeds outside i will show you guys i was going to do some gardening with you on the vlog but i kind of just wanted like quiet and doing nothing so i literally didn't do anything i just sat outside of my garden and planted the seeds into their little nursery pots i think that's what you call them but yeah i think i said this before no i said this in my habits video in my video of trying to adapt new habits is that one thing i'm trying to do is get outside more and garden because because gardening really takes your mind off of things. My mind's very busy. I need something that's relaxing and that winds me down. So I've always wanted to do gardening as well. Because when we buy a home, I really want to have a greenhouse. That's just something I've always imagined myself having as a gorgeous greenhouse. If you guys follow Lydia Elise Millen, Millen Gordon on YouTube, I've been following her for years and seeing her build her beautiful home and beautiful greenhouse. It is stunning. That is gold. So Lydia, if you're watching, don't think you are, but if you're watching, teach me your ways please um imagine Lydia's garden imagine her greenhouse that's what I'm aiming towards but your girl can't even keep plants alive so let's work up to that first but yeah my hair is just so bushy I can't even be asked to do it today I've just brushed and brushed and brushed can't be asked to do it today so it's going up in a bun we're gonna go in the garden as you guys saw this morning I just hung out some towels because we needed to wash a bunch of towels I need to buy some more actually also yesterday I placed an order on H&M but not really for me for Amara because the girl is getting big it's getting warm and we need to change out her wardrobe and I'll meet you guys outside to do some gardening.
mold to plant. We've got spring onions. Spring onions. We've already done the soil in the buckets. Corey's already, Corey's already done the rows for us. I know, very interesting. These are the, mm -mm. these are the seeds that we're using. Anna. Huh? Anna. Okay, one second. 500 seeds in here, so we're not going to use all of them. So, very nice, good job. I think mommy will do it, because I don't want it to go everywhere. I don't want it to go everywhere. Do you see there's lots of seeds? No. Okay, you can have one more and then after mommy will do the rest. Here you go. Now put a in. Yeah. Well now we water first. Bye -bye. We're going to water it first. Bye bye. Good job. Well done. Good job. High five. High five. Good job. Yeah. Hey you guys, I completely forgot that I was vlogging. So much has been happening. So I literally just Ooh. came back. Ooh. Um, wait a second, let me unbox it. I just came back from a little thrift, thrifting trip. I know you guys said you wanted to see me go thrifting, but it just was not it for you guys to come with me. Um, mm. I went to Salford mm. and I went to, I'll leave the name on the screen, Imas. M-M-A-U-S, I think. It's like a furniture thrift store. Not expecting to get much. I bought not a lot of things, but like I bought things that I was looking for already that I didn't expect to buy from there. Like I, you, it's coming tomorrow, so you guys will see. I'm so excited. This vlog is about to get good. Um, but yeah, I just got back. I literally just got into the door in the house. I'm gonna show you guys what I could bring home with me because a lot of the stuff was very big. So you guys will see tomorrow, I picked up this. It literally looks like the Billy bookcase, the Billy bookshelf. The bookshelf, the cabinet with the doors, that's from Ikea. I was gonna buy it, but I couldn't justify paying like, what, how much is it, like 200, 300 pounds? So luckily I literally saw something like it, like the exact same thing. I'm so happy, like I'm really excited. Now it's just a matter of like figuring out where it can go. I've already got like, where it can go in the living room i was thinking like the corner that corner where the mirror currently is or even like right there guys i don't know i don't know and i also got a really big lamp i've got a massive lamp oh i don't know where the lamp's gonna go now because i wanted a big lamp for the chest of drawers that's upstairs in our bedroom but we've already got another lamp so maybe that lamp can go into my office and the big lamp that i've got go into our bedroom because it will fit the vanity so nicely amara also copies everything you say so if you hear a little Parrot in the background, it's her. Magazine. Magazine. Oh, do you want to show the camera? Look, show the camera. Show the camera. Look at this bag, how cute is this? A bag like this will sell for like 20 or 30 pounds on ASOS, like PLT or something like that. I don't know where this is from, but I just saw the black. Oh, let me fix that. Like gold detailing, gold buckle. And it's in really good condition as well very spacious just needs a clean out but other than that it's so cute and i love it and i'm very happy oh a pen a pen's inside blue pen oh oh my god <laughs> oh my gosh that is so random <laughs> Corey, oh my goodness no oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh no what does that mean oh i'm not really um superstitious or anything but like why why was that in the bag that i picked up does that mean something like can someone let me know i did manage to pick this up i saw it and i thought that's gonna be really nice for my shelf and my now um display cabinet that I can put my glasses in and so happy about it. Oh, I've also got some dining chairs, completely forgot about that. Got some dining chairs. I will insert the picture of the dining chairs me and Corey really wants to get. Like I was on FaceTime to Corey and I was like, look at these chairs and he loved them, I loved them. 
Unfortunately, they wasn't selling separate. They were selling it with the dining table and I didn't need a dining table. Yeah, I got some dining chairs that I am of course going to upholster and DIY because I feel like that's what this channel is now. Um, but yeah, those chairs that I really wanted to get, I really, I was gonna justify buying the dining table and maybe selling the dining table and just keeping the chairs. The guy bubble wrapped it for me. Um, he didn't have much left, but this is the vase. How pretty is that? It's like this bubbly texture. So I thought this would look really nice on the shelf. It adds a different texture. It even could act as a vase of some sort. I just need to take off the little stickers at the bottom. Me and Corey have been really wanting a cookbook and to just get some cookbooks because we're so uninspired when it comes to cooking and food and everything of that nature. I found this in the thrift store. Here's the Betty Crocker cookbook. Anyway, yeah, so that's my little thrift store haul. And tomorrow I can show you guys everything that I got. I'm so, so, so happy. Like I'm, I was smiling, grinning in the car. And now I've got more DIY products to do in this vlog because I was really worried that I wouldn't have anything to do. And this is where I thought, like this makes me so happy. So I'm now just gonna plan what we're doing for the rest of the week because we don't have a lot to do. I don't have a lot to do in terms of work. I'm predominantly posting home content now anyways. But yeah, it's a beautiful day outside. It's not too cold, it's not too hot. Beautiful day. We, not yet. We've done our gardening. We gardening yeah we've done our gardening might do some laundry might clean up a little Daddy. bit and then laundry yeah so now i think i need to buy some more black paint yeah i might need to buy some more black paint for the chairs corey hung up the hanging plant i got in the last vlog i got this from b and q i can't b and q look at this little one in the corner she's having what are you having what are you drinking Ooh. smoothie yeah, she has such an acquired taste, you guys. I don't understand two-year-olds. Anyway, oh yeah, I've changed into joggers. I was wearing my jeans from Zara. I don't like wearing jeans in the house. Zara, do you guys see what I mean? Anyway, this is the plant. Love it. Corey just put a little hook in there for me. And it's hanging, and I love it. I love the greenery in the house, you guys. I think I'm changing, because that one's fake. That one's from Ikea. Got my real plant up there. Um, it's just becoming like a green infested place. Also, the chest, not the chest doors, the shelf that we're gonna get. Also, oh, I forgot to show you guys. This is how the coffee table's coming along. Completely forgot to vlog. Corey just done it the other night when I was sleeping. But I wasn't even thinking about painting it black, but Corey really wants to concrete it. So we're gonna concrete it and see how it looks. So this is the before, just the um, table runner. So yeah, this is the before. We're also gonna round the edges, I think. Um, also trip and hazard for a toddler, but I think round edges would look nice. This whole corner just needs to be organized. This is our dumping corner with all the tools and everything. I'm about to get some work done. Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Um, I was going to vlog earlier, but this morning's been really fun. I woke up with a fat migraine. I not even woke up, this migraine's been like- Still overnight. Do it, yeah, it started last night, forced myself to go to sleep. Woke yeah. up this morning, well not even woke up. We, no one really slept in this household, so. Um, Hiya. Here we are, just about surviving. And as you can see behind me, we've got- Why? Some new additions back there. So the guys from the charity store came around today and dropped everything off. So Jason K reached out to me and wanted to send me some goodies. I think I'm like an ambassador. They sent me some goodies. I have no idea what's in here. I didn't pick anything. So they sent me some goodies and I'm gonna be unboxing them and showing you guys. I'll leave everything down below in the description bar. There's some sort of candle diffuser. Everyone's putting their lids in to smell it. Hi, Jasiara. We're so excited to have you a part of our community. We want to send you some of our skincare heroes. Tag us at Space and K and let us know what you think. I love that. Thank you so much. Oh, what have I got in here? Oh, lovely. But as you can see, I've got some beautiful skincare bits. I'm excited to try this SPF. I've seen it all over TikTok, SPF 50. Um, I'm excited to try it. If you guys want me to try this um, on a like get ready with me or something, let me know. Ready. I'll most likely be trying all of these on TikTok and give them my review. So I've got the Ultra Violet SPF 50. Again, perfect timing because the sun is coming out. As you guys can see, it's really bright in the living room. I've got Paula's Choice. I've always wanted to try this brand. Never had those 
opportunity too. So this is the 2% BHA liquid exfoliants with salicy salicylic acid. This stuff works really good on my skin. Anything with salicylic acid in it works perfectly for my skin. So I'm really excited to try that. This is the Drunk Elephant Peptide Serum. I'm pretty sure I have this as a sample that I tried over Christmas and I love it. So I'm really happy I've got a larger size. And um, the Fresh Soy Cleanser for all skin types. Excited to give this a go as well. Thank you, Mara. And then finally, the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This stuff has been all over TikTok and Instagram. The packaging is gorgeous, so I'm excited to unbox it. I never know how to say this brand, so I'm not going to butcher it. Um, but this is the Beauty Elixir. Again, heard amazing things. Space and K is the perfect. No, don't lick it. Don't lick it. It's plastic. It's plastic. Space and K is the perfect like one-stop shop if you guys want beauty, skincare, lifestyle products. Again, I'll leave all of these products down below. I'll probably talk about them more in detail later on. Maybe give them a try later tonight. We'll see. But yeah, thank you so much to Space and K for sending all these goodies. I'm really excited to try them. And I'll let you guys know what I think as well. This is the cabinet. It's not really showing up on camera, but it is literally the same, if not, no, it literally is the same as the dining table and the floors. It's this beautiful, like rich brown shade. Obviously got its imperfections back there, but other than that, I saw this in the charity shop. And I thought it would be perfect. And it comes with a light at the top that doesn't really work. So I'm thinking of just adding my own lighting. A nice soft close. This literally looks like the IKEA one. I think the IKEA one's a little bit wider, um, but I thought it would fit in this space perfectly. Please ignore that corner. We are sorting that out today. But that is it. Decided to put it near the kitchen. And obviously once everything is inside, it will look really lovely. Um, if anything, we'll change around the positioning of it, but that is thrift find number one i was also thinking of painting it black let me know what you guys think oh, yeah, you can see the wood better in this lighting um i was thinking of painting it black obviously changing the handles to be gold let me know what you guys think about it being black or if i should leave it because i really do like the original um wood feature it looks really nice this is the dying chair that i picked up again i think i've showed you guys a picture already of the one that we really wanted to get but that one was being sold with the dining table and we didn't need a dining table this little cushion um that we are obviously going to cover Corey's thinking that we should do leather and i kind of like the idea because we need a different texture in the living room and the dining room but i really like it's nice and thick and sturdy but you guys already know what i'm going to do with this definitely going to paint it black I think I'm just gonna go straight in with black, paint it all black, do the legs black, and then have black leather, probably. So we've got four chairs here. This is the lamp that I picked up. It is huge. The lampshade is massive, and I love the base of it. Yeah, I love the base of the lamp as well, and I love the lampshade. I'm deciding whether or not to keep the lampshade. I think for now I'm going to keep it because it's just dramatic and I love it. Um, I love the detailing of it as well and on the base as well but this is going in me and Corey's room on our chest for doors the bedroom is a work in progress i believe we are doing that tomorrow finally because it needs to be done this is the canvas i got it's huge and it's this beautiful like texture if you guys can tell i don't know if the camera's picking it up so we're thinking of hanging this in the kitchen because i just think it is perfect for the kitchen the kitchen needs some um artwork and more decor in it the kitchen is a work in progress too okay so i've moved the lamp into our room I'm out of breath because I just went upstairs. This room is in no means cleaned or organized. We are doing that today and tomorrow. But this is the lampshade on the chest of drawers. Um, I did want to stay in the chest of drawers, but I think I like it like this because everything else in this house is dark wood because I've changed it. And I think I'm just going to keep it like this. But what do you guys think to do? Do we concrete this? Like, do we concrete the base? Do I change the shade? I think for now I'm going to leave it. Hey guys, so currently Amara is napping. I am trying to sort out the clothes because if you look at my office, it's just not okay. I'm out of breath, I just ran up the stairs. It's not okay for me to be living like this. I haven't touched my office, I haven't been in my office for like two days. But currently, I am in our bedroom, mine and Corey's room. Anyway, yeah, so that's what I'm currently doing right now, sorting out all the clothes. The wardrobe is up. I kind of don't like the white wardrobe in this room. I think it's because the carpets are just ugly. 
guys help me what should i do with this carpet what should i do with the rug what should i do with this this carpet is just not cute gosh this carpet is just not nice it's like a brown mud brown it's not cute against all the stuff that we have everything's just random the white wardrobe the wooden chest of drawers the gray bed like do you see what i mean it's just a bit all over the place we need some structure but the lighting in this room is nice at least i'm going to be changing the blinds and putting curtains on um just to add some more light i'm going to be doing that to this bedroom and then the downstairs not the living room where the dining room is where that window is i'm going to be doing that i've already done it in my office i just need to do it everywhere else. so yeah that's what i'm doing now nothing interesting i will get back to you guys when i'm doing the dining chairs because i'm going to be painting the dining chairs when Corey gets back he's just going to be in queue to get me some more paint so i'm going to be painting the dining chairs and then we're going to be moving all of these bags into the shed and yeah i'm going to catch up with you guys when that happens i want to show you guys the progress i've been out here for hours doing this and make sure, making sure it's perfect this is the last chair that i've got to do these two are practically finished. They're looking amazing. I just need to go around the grooves there. I've just done this one, letting it dry. The finish is so nice. And then yeah, this is the only one I have left to do. I'm cold, but the sun's setting so beautifully. It's very cold. And I've had my dinner. I forgot to show you guys, Corey made me this, ooh, the sunlight. Corey made me the most delicious um, chicken salad. That's like my go-to dinner at the moment because it's yummy and healthy. Um, but yeah, also, we hung it up. It's a bit wonky, but it looks so pretty in the kitchen. Like, all the colours go so nicely together. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to put you guys down and finish up the dining chairs. Amara's taking a bath. And then when I'm done the dining chairs, I need to put the fabric on, but I'm going to do that inside. We don't need to do the outside. morning guys happy friday so we are all up we are all downstairs and i would love to show you guys we're downstairs i'd love to show you guys the dining table i woke up just feeling fresh today and ready to start the day guess what day it is it's bedroom day we are painting the bedroom i've decided not to paint all the walls because you guys know two of the walls two of the walls have this green wallpaper and I'm only going to paint one of them. I'm not painting both of them because I think it would be nice to have a feature wall and with the trust drawers and the overall vision I have for the room, I think it will be nice. But I would love to show you guys what the dining chairs look like. It looks amazing. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Every time I do these DIYs, I'm like, I'm so proud of myself. It's because I always execute. I know it's simple tasks. So a lot of you may be like, Jess, that's a really simple task to do. I could do that in my sleep. I know, but this isn't usually my thing, so I'm quite proud. Anyway, I wanna show you guys, and the fabric that I use for the chairs, I'm really proud of my, my choosing for that. So, let me show you guys what it looks like. Can you say good morning, vlog? These are the chairs. I wanna pull one out. Oh, lovely. The only thing is I need to varnish it. But, like I said yesterday, I've painted it straight black instead of trying to do wood. Black. Black, yeah. I straight. I painted it straight black and try, instead of trying to do the wood method like what I've done on the dining table. Yeah, one. Yeah, and I love what it looks like. I need to varnish it because it still like very much feels like paint. I didn't even see. I knew there was a chair that was patchy because it was dark last night when I was finishing up. So I'm gonna have to go over this today. But other than that, this is the cushion. I don't know. Can you see the pattern? It's like a 
checkered pattern very tiny checkered and it's brown and i thought it would be such a nice contrast with the dining table and with the cabinet we're just gonna move back the coffee table's there corey's doing it today i don't know if i should move the dining table directly under the light i love how everything's coming together i love the cabinet i just need to fill it with my glasses so i'll be doing that today but yeah that's the plans for the day i have to go back over the dining chairs with paint and varnish them today um just because i don't want them to scratch so easily and i don't want it to look patchy i want it to look like a professional job i want it to look like i bought it like that and then i'm going to fill the cabinets and then i'm going to start in the bedroom um bedroom shouldn't take too long even though the walls are huge i don't think it should take too long and the rest of the plans for the day is just to sort clothes out, put things in its place and get this house looking like a house because it's Friday today during the weekend. I don't really want to be doing big, deep cleaning, um, just my everyday weekly clean. Also, let me know, you guys, if you want to see cleaning videos, like house cleaning videos, like top to bottom, um, because I can do that now. So let me know because I know a lot of people on YouTube love cleaning videos. I watched, if you guys know Jordan Lipscomb, love her OG. Um, she recently done like a kitchen clean, a kitchen clean, a kitchen restock video. So let me know if those type of videos are of interest to you and I'll make them. Like house cleaning videos, restock videos, um, that type of thing. I usually do most of it on TikTok just because it's short form, it's easy. But if you do like on YouTube, let me know. to fix this room oh my goodness so yeah like i said we are painting this wall instead of the one when you enter the room um yeah so we're gonna be painting this whole wall white just because this wall's white i wanted to match it our bed's gonna go this way the two coves will be decorated lampshade will be changed at some point and we're gonna be adding a curtain in here hiya hi darling okay you guys so okay <laughs> okay hi. i'm gonna unbox some bits that i got for amara unbox ah. unbox i'm gonna unbox some stuff that i got for amara for, for, um, for you yeah. for you for like the summer time spring time so, yeah. yes sometimes <laughs> She repeats everything I say, by the way. Um, yeah, we're, uh, gonna uh, we're gonna open it. Some things are for nursery. Ready. Nursery. And others are just for like... Mommy. Yeah? Mommy, Dad. Oh, we're not going nursery, baby. We're not going nursery. The mommy. clothes, The clothes Mommy got for you is mommy. for nursery. Yeah? The mommy. Do you remember what Mommy talked about? Yeah. When we go to nursery, Mommy and Daddy will come to get you later. Okay. Yeah? So Daddy will drop you off and then you we come back later oh my gosh i forgot i got all these stuff clothes for you i got two things for myself i get a you no they're all for you Are you all for you oh well you no you say all for mara oh my yeah you yeah a lot of the clothes oh, i got her ma. all for mara oh a lot of the clothes i got her is for nice free just like plain tops Daddy. long sleeve tops nursery the clothes look huge to the cute top. Yeah, no, no, no. That's, no. I like that one. Let's put them all there first. Me? Well, that one's pretty. Me? Well, I know you like that one. <laughs> I know you like that one. I like one. That's so cute. You like that one? Can I open that one? This. You get that one behind you. This one. You want that one? Yes. Okay. Oh, Hiya. this is pajamas. So these are pajamas for you. Yay. Pajamas. Oh, yes. I got another pajamas. Oh, these ones are so cute. These ones are really cute. Really cute. Whoa. You like that one? No. This one is so cute. It might be a bit big for her. No. Three to four years old. It's like a matching top and. Ma Mashing top and trousers. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that out after. And then I got her these jeans, guys. I saw these jeans on um, the model, the child model. It looks so cute. And she likes Huh? Nice and clean? Yes. What's nice and clean? What's nice and Oh, my nose. Oh, bless her heart. I just had a nosebleed because that happened randomly. 
Yeah, my nose was bleeding and she saw the nosebleed. Ooh. And now my nose is nice and clean, isn't it? Yeah. And then I got you. I got her these wide leg. I just got her these relaxed fit jeans in a size three to four because she's a tall girl. Really cute. What else? Oh, I got her this stripy dress. And then I got her another pair of jeans, the same ones but lighter. And then these two are mine at the bottom. I got this next bag because I was in the market for a new tote bag. I think this one's really cute. I'll show you guys it in detail later. And then finally, I'll show you guys these later on as well. I got myself these linen trousers. I think these will be perfect for summertime. Now that's a little H&M haul segment out of the way. I'm going to get back to doing the room. I was just now cleaning the bedroom. Didn't show you guys, but I'll show you guys now. Look at me. Wow. Wow. Good morning everyone, happy Saturday. So I am off to do some pickups for the house. I need to get some food, I need to get some cleaning mitts and restock the, the kitchen and the bathroom. I'm going to be filming, hi darling. I'm going to be filming a whole house clean and restock video that's gonna be up on Wednesday. So if you're interested in that, Wednesday. So if you're interested in, st in that, mm -hmm. stay tuned. I'm going to head to Aldi and Home Bargains and just pick up some stuff. Don't know if I'm gonna take you guys with, it's a whole separate video, so you'll just have to wait till Wednesday to see it. But yeah, that's the plans for today. I've done the bedroom, sort of. It's like finished, essentially, but it's just the outskirts, like the top, the very top near the door, and getting the skirting all nice and clean. But other than that, I woke up this morning to the white wall and I was like, oh my God, it looks so much better already. The room just looks so much brighter. Very happy with my decision. And yeah, the only thing left to do is just to clean the house, to do a general clean up and organizing the kitchen. And I need to start meal prepping because guys, I do not, I've not enjoyed cooking recently. Luckily I've got my new cookbook. I might look for some more on Amazon or something because I just don't enjoy cooking these days. But yeah, let me finish sorting myself out. I'm gonna get dressed, I'm gonna go, come back, and then I'll catch up with you guys once I've got all of that done. Okay, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. You can't really see it that much. The mirror is downstairs. I'll probably show you properly downstairs, but these are the trousers I got from H&M yesterday. Really, really cute. I'll show you properly in the mirror. And then this is the tote bag. I'm using it for my shopping today. I'm gonna get some other ones and put it in in case I don't have enough space. But it's this cute, like, straw material bag i thought it would be perfect for the spring summer months a lot of space you guys know i love me a tote bag especially as a mum. you just need a tote bag to put everything in um it's a really good size nice size i got this like tan color it comes in a cream color but i wanted to get a different tone because i always wear cream but yeah i'm going to show you guys a full outfit in the mirror downstairs if you're interested i'll link it down below in my description box
on and show you the bedroom because I am going to be signing off this vlog now. It has been the longest morning slash afternoon. It's now 3 p.m. I checked in with you guys at like 11 in the morning. I've done the shopping. I've done the food shop. I've just been filming Wednesday's video. So the house restocking cleaning video. I'm going to be doing the actual cleaning part tomorrow just because I'm so tired just from restocking. I was deep cleaning the cupboards in the kitchen and just making sure it was like organized. So now I'm in the bedroom. Every time I walk in here, it just feels so much brighter. There's still bags that I need to organize. That's for my office at a later date. We're working in baby steps, but here, the lamp. Not really sure what to do with it. I kind of like how it is, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, um, as you can see it against the wallpaper. Um, and yeah, the chest of drawers. And then this is the print, the little picture I picked up at the charity shop love it so much it's so regal i love it and then yeah the chest of drawers is this way and then as you turn i'm actually going to close my blinds so as ex excuse the background noise as well everyone seems to be doing work today as you walk in the bedroom the wallpaper is still here on this wall chest of drawers is there ignore the wardrobe we are sorting it out and then you spin around to this side and look at the wall obviously i still have up here to do i still have that little corner to do but for the most part it is done it's just the top bits to focus on but the bed is in the center i need to make the bedding look cute i'm thinking some colored bedding i love white bed sheets i think it's so clean so classic but i'm thinking for this room to add some color the brown carpets don't look so ugly anymore like the brown carpets don't look that bad it looks worse because the whole room was dark because of this wallpaper but now the walls brightened up a little bit it just opens up the place so much more it makes the room look so much bigger we just need to get a new lampshade and decorate these two coves we need to get two bedside tables and i'm going to be putting up the curtains probably tomorrow but that is the room the white paint has just opened up so much made the room look so much brighter and then we have the feature wall right here which i think looks lovely honestly i didn't think i'd like the green but i actually do enjoy it but yeah you guys that's all for this vlog thank you so much for joining me in this week's vlog doing a whole lot of house renovations and house projects and everything like that i really hope you guys have enjoyed it let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you're new consider subscribing because like 50% of you that watch my videos don't subscribe. I know I'm pretty sure I would have showed you the finished dining table, the finished chairs and the finished cabinet that is downstairs. Next video you will see is the um, house cleaning restock video. I really hope you guys like that. Let me know if you like those type of videos. A lot of you said that you do. So let me know your thoughts. And yeah, I'll see you guys in next week's vlog. Have a lovely day and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>